the morning crying over you in the evening crying over you don't know what to do he wobbles beautifully you make me feel ashamed people say it's all in the game a woman please let me explain then i know you'll be mine every day i pray mm -hmm, to have you and to hold Ah, oh, yeah, now that you are here by my side. I really, really don't want to ride, ride, riding over you in the morning. Cry in the evening, riding over you. I should have break a break. My mind, my mind at this now. With the action look, right? <laughs> Just the fact that, like, you know, you've actually met them, I mean, like, that's, you know, like, stunning in itself. But then to hear them singing their song on top of your backing track, you know, it's just like, you know, you couldn't have, you couldn't have written the script. Jamaicans are very proud of reggae, you know, and the effect that it's had on the world mus musically. They don't, and we come, they, Jamaican people are interested that we're playing reggae and working music here. No, not this, not anything else. Nothing else comes into it. You've talked once or twice about spreading the word of reggae. I mean, there's a feeling that you somehow felt you had to be ambassadors for it. You've been on massive world tours, partly for all the usual reasons, but also there's a feeling that you want to spread... spread Pro Promoting reggae music, yeah. absolutely, because it's just, it's the only thing that moves my muscle. I mean, really, you know, the only thing that truly elates me, you know, is, um, is good reggae music. I and mean, did you feel you were sort of taking the reggae word to the to places that it hadn't been? Yeah, we've, we've, that's what we've always... Uh, said we were, you know, ambassadors for reggae as far as we're concerned. It's the music that 
changed our lives. You know, we want to help popularise it. The only way you're going to popularise it is... Get out there. ...by getting out there, you know, going to the places where nobody else has been. But people went through it, but people went through it. So, my first question is, as you are the very first reggae band ever to tour in the USSR, and our audience got no experience of, well, what reggae music is. Why did you decide to tour Russia? It was the cultural attaché of some department. Got in touch with our office and said, would they come and play a tour? You know, simple as that. I think they thought we were sort of the acceptable face of, you know, Western pop music. You've got this label in Jamaica. A Rocker Better Records. Yeah. So what is that, what's that, what's that about? Why, why do you want that? Uh... We're, we're, it, we're promoting, uh, just as we're, we're trying to promote the elder statesmen of reggae with the Labour and Love Project, we're also trying to promote the, the other end, the it's young also kids. The news, this is the young kids. I mean, we've still got the originators of this music are still eking out a living, playing hotels in Jamaica and stuff. And uh, if it hadn't have been for them, we wouldn't have all this new stuff. Check it out. I'm not making excuses, but I think it's just about time. Well, I gave an explanation. I spoke my mind. Cause nothing's picture perfect. Or was it the right scene? And I don't seek your judgment. Cause I'm not in this dream. And I won't leave you unprotected I will stand by you I'll make sure that you respect it And nothing less will do I had a rough upbringing And I've been pushed to I had a rough upbringing I won't be kept down I had a rough upbringing I'm a moving on up to the top. I had a rough upbringing, but I will never be stopped. UB40 has a great knowledge of the music and they have good taste. So they're picking acts that they can bring a different kind of production value to what they do. And I think it would help to stimulate the music because that's what I think we need more of now. People are crying out for, for new talent, for fresh talent. Reggae's not getting the attention that it needs. It seems to me accountants are really running the music business at the moment. That's a kind of, it's, it's become that accountant-led business at the moment. And, and it doesn't really have a lot of room for young developing artists. Yeah, it's difficult getting records out because sometimes people don't really understand your style and they would want to do it like their way. But sometimes you have like a different melody to sort of put your style to them. They're not really understanding, so sometimes they don't really want to back it, you know? Once they would um, sign the artist before he, he, he even has a hit, like with Black Hole and with Bob Marley, these people know they won't sign in until they have a hit record or something, so like it's gonna break out. G Child representing in Tugstad, baby!